If you love travel, then Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand most likely have captured your imaginations. When you think of Southeast Asia, images of pristine beaches and vibrant street markets likely flood your mind. But there is a new narrative unfolding. These nations are quietly powering for a tech revolution. They are becoming pivotal players in the world semiconductor industry, from Vietnam's rapid accent as a key hub for cheap assembly to Malaysia's ambitious comeback as a semiconductor powerhouse. Southeast Asia is on the brink of transforming the global tech landscape. In today's video, we are diving into this unexpected shift, exploring how these destinations are becoming the battlegrounds for next big tech race. By the way, we have started to create videos to understand history, innovations and current semiconductor industry situations in the leading countries. We will be covering a couple of countries in this series and will conclude with India. Do watch our videos on Israel and the United States. We have also covered how agricultural land Taiwan became the epicenter of world semiconductor industry in one of the video. Please do check it out. Subscribe for more such informative videos. If you are preparing to enter into the semiconductor industry or just an industry enthusiast, this video will surely help you to understand the semiconductor industry scenario in India. Now back to the video. Amid increasing trade and political tension between US and China, rising labor cost in China, many companies are diversifying their China businesses by moving operations to other countries. However, China still offers many strategic advantages such as comprehensive supply chains, highly developed infrastructures, and wealth of talent and expertise. Also, China is one of the world's best consumer markets. For these reasons, companies don't want to abandon China completely. Rather, they are choosing to supplement Chinese operation with low-cost inputs sourced from nearby production facilities such as Vietnam and Indonesia. This production model has become widely known as China Plus One. Vietnam has upper hand among the Southeast Asian countries as it already home to an established textile, food, furniture, plastic and paper manufacturing industry. It have lots of skilled labor workforce as well. Moreover, Vietnam's strategic location sitting on a major trade routes has also made it a deal for semiconductor industry supply chain diversification. Currently, Vietnam primarily participates in the final stages of semiconductor production, which includes assembly, testing and packaging. Recently, in 2023, US acknowledged Vietnam's potential and it's supporting its aspiration by providing financial investments, technology transfer, and also started workforce development initiative. South Korea's Hana Micron Limited inaugurated a semiconductor plant in northern Vietnam. It is aiming to increase its production investment to 1 billion by 2025. The Southeast Asian Electronics Manufacturing Hub already hosts US giant's Intel largest semiconductor packaging and testing plant worldwide and is home to several chip designing software firms as well. Not only manufacturing, Vietnam is gradually establishing its presence in critical phases of semiconductor productions as well. It has also attracted many foreign semiconductor companies like Intel, Qualcomm, Marvel, Infineon, Samsung and many more. Recently, we heard that NVIDIA wishes to establish a base in Vietnam to develop the country's semiconductor industry. NVIDIA has also already invested 250 million in Vietnam. The Vietnamese government is working on strategy to attract more semiconductor investments. They aim to build Vietnam's first fab for chips used in cars or for telecom applications. Vietnam plays a critical role in building resilient semiconductor supply chains worldwide. Let's wait and watch what's in store for Vietnam's semiconductor aspirations. Next up is Malaysia. It was nicknamed the Silicon Valley of East in 1970s, but it lost ground to South Korea and Taiwan in 1990s. Thanks to companies like Samsung and TSMC, now Malaysia is hoping to make a comeback as the industry pushes to diversify production amid flaring US-China tensions. Malaysia has long been Infineon's most important manufacturing hub in Asia. Intel is building its biggest site for advanced 3D chip packaging in Malaysia, an area emerging as the next battleground in the attempt to make ever more powerful chips. The country relies heavily on the foreign chip companies to sustain its industry. Intel, NXP, Infineon, Texas Instruments and Renesis 
have all had presence in the country since the 1970s. Malaysian is home to chip packaging and testing service providers such as Itari, Amerton, Unisim and Carsim, which plays a small part in global market. With increase in investments and interest in collaborating with Malaysia amongst the foreign chip companies, the future of Malaysian semiconductor industry shines bright. The party hotspot Thailand is nowhere behind. Thai's board of investment introduced a suit of tax intensives in August 2021 to boost the semiconductor industry. Now the government has extended the corporate income tax exemption period to prompt investment. With this move, Thailand aims to attract semiconductor companies and make its mark in the global supply chain. NXP, Infineon, Toshiba already have their existence in Thailand. Semiconductor export is main part of economy. Thailand semiconductor trade is classified into two groups, integrated circuits and diode. The top three exporters of semiconductors as of November 2023 are China with around 429,000 shipments, followed by Vietnam with 281,000 and Germany at the third spot with around 2,000 and 1,000 shipments. Thailand stood at 49,000 shipments. These Southeast Asian countries have long way to go to beat China, but there has been great progress over the past year. India too is pushing hard to establish itself as a global chip manufacturing hub. As we saw in this video, there are many Southeast Asian countries are in the race. In the upcoming video, we will see how India is handling the situation and understand major factors that could support India in winning the semiconductor industry supply chain diversification. Till then, keep watching. Thank you.